to me, Hongo Nichiyobi. Today, the intro is kind of in a weird spot because of the way that this week is just working out. Today, I'm making sponge cake. Now, <clears throat> this is supposed to be Japanese sponge cake, and I'll get into a little bit more, like, after the recipe, um, but what I was planning on doing, and what I did do, actually, I don't know why I said I was planning on doing it, like it didn't happen, was I made this cake for my dad's birthday. My dad's birthday is actually the Sunday that this is hopefully going up. It might go up a little later just because of the fact that we had to take it there and taste it, etc, etc. Now, I didn't record the tasting because that's kind of like a private family organization environment, so I didn't really want to put that out there. Um, <clears throat> But, so, I took it to my dad's, my parents, and we had it for his birthday, and I'll kind of get into my thoughts of it at the end. is that it wasn't worth the effort that I put into it. Um, <laughs> uh, it. It took a really long time, and I'm sure as you saw in the video, there was like the elaborate mixing of the eggs and the sugar over hot water to thoroughly melt the sugar, and then whipping the eggs to make it really light and fluffy. Um, but in the end, I don't know if you could tell with the cooled cake, the fluff, it, it fell in the oven. Like, it didn't hold its shape. It fell in the middle, and when I actually, like, cut into it and bit it, it was really, really chewy. And I don't know if that's because it fell, but the texture was just all off. And I don't know if this is just me saying from, like, a not baker standpoint, because I am not a baker at all. Um, it would have been much easier if I had just used like a box cake recipe. I've made those before and they've turned out splendidly. Um, so I kind of think that it would have just worked better if I had used a box cake recipe rather than trying to make it all elaborate and stuff. Um, but there is also the possibility I just did it wrong because, like I said, I'm not a baker. But when I tried to cut it in half, it was very difficult because the center was lower than the outside and I had to try to trim around the outside because it was like angled in like pretty sharply. So that didn't really work out. The second thing is the icing, and it was just a whipped cream, 
basically. And part of me is just like, first, I think I over whipped the whipped cream. I think it just was too thick um, by the end that I whipped it because I was so concerned with getting it to the whipped consistency. But I think I over whipped it and it wasn't smooth. If it was smooth, it would have gone on and looked much prettier. But instead, it just looked chunky and gross and disgusting, which is why I just covered it with strawberries. And once again, part of me is just like, would it have been easier for me to get like two jugs of Cool Whip and use it? And part like I don't have a very sophisticated palate. I didn't really taste the difference. And I like Cool Whip. Sometimes I eat Cool Whip with a spoon out of the container. Um, so that's kind of my thought on it. I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad I put the effort forth to make the cake, but I don't think it was worth the energy because I don't think it tasted better than a box cake with Cool Whip icing. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Um, I'm sorry if it's not exactly, like, this is probably the first Nihono Nishiyobi that, like, I didn't like, which is saying something because it's cake. But, but then again, I'm not a baker. But then last week's, like, rolls turned out better, and I really, really messed those up. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm making next week. This is so last minute spur of the moment because I'm trying to get this out before the end of the day. So it's still technically Niho no Nichiobi instead of like Niho no Monday, whatever Monday is in Japanese. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.